Hi. <laughs> so nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> and thank you for this opportunity to talk to us in Serbian Metal Portal and to your fans in Serbia. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. We are delighted. <laughs> lovely, lovely. So I have prepared not too many questions, so I'm not going to take that much of your time. All good, all good. Okay, so we'll start with uh, the many collaborations and guest appearances you had throughout your career, long career. Uh, so I would like to hear what's your favorite guest appearance or collaboration up to now. Do you have a favorite? <laughs> yeah, well, I have, of course, I have a few favorites, but um, uh, because there's, you know, there's many in those, you know, the last um, 10 to, to 15 years, I, you know, after, after I left the gathering, there was so many people that I, uh, have been uh, able to work with and um and it's all been so nice in so many ways you know so many different ways but obviously you know working for instance with Devin Townsend or or Arin Lucas uh, you know those are my two of my favorite people to work with um also it's also cool that Every now and again, I get to work with them again. So it's some something of like a, a mutual friend, uh, like a musical friendship that go, just keeps going on and on. And so I'm, I'm for instance, very proud uh, to work with them. That's great. And uh, do you plan some other collaborations in the future, <laughs> or it um, just happens? Yeah, so sometimes it just happens, you know, sometimes you tour with somebody and you say, oh, that, that, you know, then it's just such a nice experience. And then you always say like, ah, let's do something together um, in the future. And then at one point, you know, things happen because, you know, the stars have to align a little bit. It's also with working with Arin Lucas, uh, you know, we did the Gentle Storm album together and then uh, we thought of a second album with it for the gentle storm for for us and but then he makes a record and then and then he's in kind of a quiet time then I make a record so so <laughs> that we have to kind of find a time to that we both are able to you know work on like because it's a bit of a massive project you know um so we have to find a time to work together again but you know like one day you, you kind of collide again and and uh, and and uh, and do something like that. But sometimes you say, "Oh, this was such a nice cooperation," and then or collaboration, and then you say, "Let's do something together," and then never happens. So, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you don't find the time. Yeah, and uh, you know we're also very busy but when things do happen it's always with a good feeling you know and then it's supposed to happen but it's usually it's quite um, spontaneous yeah so is there any artist you would like to work with that you haven't before well yeah <laughs> actually <laughs> I, I i don't have a lot to wish for because i'm i'm living a happy life you know music wise i have been working together with so many fantastic artists already uh, but you know as everybody knows that i'm a big uh, mike Patton fan uh and uh for instance he's one of the singers that i admire so much and it'd be lovely to you know even meet him one day um but then again i don't think about it that much because uh you know yeah i'm just doing my thing and it, when it's in the stars it will happen and it, when it's not it's okay too so but he's one of my favorite singers in in rock music yeah so i hope he hears this <laughs> and <laughs> does you. something about it <laughs> yeah so you are currently focusing on your solo career mm -hmm. uh, is that your plan at the moment to work on your solo music Yes, I, I just started writing a new album. Um, oh, that's great. Yeah, it will take about a, a year, I guess, because I'm touring as well. Uh, so uh, every now and again, I take a, a, f a few days or, or weeks to, to work on it. But I just started and I have the feeling 
it it is going to it's going to be a solo album but it and in kind of in the veins of the last album um the darkest skies are the brightest album but um a little bit more band oriented so a little bit more uh, uh a little bit less acoustic if you will so but it is it will be kind of in the vein of of that album and i guess you know it's still alternative music um um, it's not a metal album. If I make a metal album, it's going to be under the name Fuhr, but it's going to be a solo album. So, uh, Darkest Skies uh, was released in February to, uh, 2021. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, I guess you will be focusing on those songs uh, when you play in Serbia. Indeed, indeed. I will play a bunch of songs from the new album. And I will play a bunch of songs from my old albums but i also do some you know play some cover songs that i just love you know i like these 80s kind of songs and uh, i'll do a couple of those but but also some gathering stuff some devon towns and some arian so all of my favorites at least so i i hope it will be like it's going to be a little bit of a, an eclectic set list and i you know usually i tell some stories or some anecdotes or crack some jokes or you know, I, I always try to, you know, connect with the audience and, and make everybody feel that like they're in my living room. <laughs> That's and, great. Uh, yeah. And I love these gigs. I love these so much because it's just me and the guitar. So I can do kind of everything, you know, anything I want. So and, and this is kind of always what it turns out to be. Uh, it's just something personal. You're just making music, just connecting and um having a a wonderful time uh, and um you know and it seemed to work very well i i really love it we will be also delighted <laughs> great uh, so another question is i uh, managed to take a look at your tour dates today and i've seen that it's really busy how do you manage to keep your energy during uh, the tours well, that's sometimes it's hard because there's uh, long days and travels are usually done in the early, early morning. <laughs> so there's short nights, long days. Um, so when you tour for a long time, you kind of start living on the adrenaline and, uh, you know, a, on the bus of being on tour and to see everybody and to make music and to travel uh, just, and looking around, you know, and sniff up the air. and you know, abroad, which I love, all of it. I love it so much. So that keeps me going. Uh, but obviously it's it's good to have good hours of sleep and to eat healthy. And, you know, it's good for a singer to eat healthy and, and drink a lot of water. So I try. Um, um, but, you know, it, it is, in the end, it is pretty straining. But I'm not complaining though, because you know, at the end of the tour, I try to take a week off and um, and just sleep for a week, and I'll be back on my feet. So <laughs> you regain your energy quickly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I still do. I still do. I get a little bit older though, but um, but it's just it's still a going bit. well. <laughs> yeah, just a tiny. <laughs> but you don't look it. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. So uh, to. Uh, get to another theme. What are you currently listening at home these days? Um, I listen to, it depends where I am. If I am in the car, I like to listen to metal music um, and I like uh, Gojira very much, um, one of my favorite bands, um, and um, uh, Mastodon, you know, bands like that, stuff like that. And just playlists with stuff like that, uh, Prague, like Steve Wilson, uh, stuff like that. And then when I'm at home, like today, like I'm, I've been working here in my in my little room, um, practicing for the tour and packing my bag already a little bit. And then I just uh, put on Spotify and play like random 80s music. <laughs> and uh, so that like calms my nerves a little bit. And um, so I, I like, and you know, Finn, my son, he's 17. He's really into this new style of indie music. So he sometimes is on my Spotify playing music and then I learn 
a lot about the music that he listens to and you know what the kids are listening to these days and uh, that's also really cool yes it is so you've mentioned that you love 80s songs a great era for pop for metal but for pop especially yeah. uh, do you have any favorite songs artists from the 80s well you know i love bands like yeah bands like duran duran uh, but still you know also a little bit more alternative you know fleetwood mac um bands like that um and uh and also more prog oriented you know bands like marillion and um i always shove them in all in one playlist and just listen to that that all randomly um so this so so much good music comes from from the 80s 80s and of course they are my formative years so when i listen to that music i think Yeah, you know about those times and uh, uh, and uh, I know like oh there was 1985 and I heard this song on the radio and that was so cool and, like a lot of Kate Bush you know her her best years were the 70s and the 80s um, so I listen a lot to Kate Bush as well yeah that's great and uh, I read a comment once on the, a Fleetwood Mac video that said you either love Fleetwood Mac or you're wrong <laughs> <laughs> they're so right yes they are <laughs> that's such a good one <laughs> yes it is yeah, so perfect. do you have uh, any modern artists that you like uh, any newer no matter uh, the genre <laughs> yeah well band like Gojira obviously they, they've been existing for, for a long long time but they just gain popularity like so much in the, in the past I don't know five years Um, so I would consider that contemporary band. Um, it, they're one of my favorite bands to listen to at the moment. Yes, they are great. Awesome. So how do you uh, juggle your private life and your career? Well, it's, it's doable, you know. Um, when we were in Corona years, um, obviously that was... Um, Uh, fucked up entirely uh, you know that that was uh, very bad for for many people yeah. in many ways uh, but the one thing that I did like you know up, you, you know it was uncertain times uh, but I did like being home for for a long time in a row so I I enjoyed my family being my with my family a lot with Rob and Finn and um, spend so much time with them together that I, I really, you know, I take from the whole period, I take that with me that I got to spend so much time with the, with the family. Um, so I try to, after COVID, you know, when we are able to tour again, we said to each other also, like, let's, we always try, but let's try harder to, you know, to, to how do you say, to kind of manage that, better um just to tour not for so very long just to be home for a little bit uh, before going on the road again and when i'm in the studio i can come home at night you know because it's always chunks of work so it's either tour or you're in the studio for days and days and there's long days and my boy is going to school of course or during the day he's he's away as well so it so it's kind of um a random family life that we have But every time we try to hold the situation up against the light and say, okay, is it, you know, is, is this still the best way to do things? And there's always, there's always room for improvement, you know. <laughs> But you know what? I love touring and I love playing and I love, you know, making music and I love writing and recording as well. So um, that makes me happy. So I'm a happy mom <laughs> and a happy I understand. wife. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's also a big thing, you know. If we all do what we love, and, and you know, Rob is he's uh, doing a lot of the production management. Um, he loves it, you know. Finn loves his school. So, and then there's WhatsApp and and Skype, you know. <laughs> <laughs> to keep it so you have, yes, yes, you, you uh, manage to uh, keep your family in yeah. contact. Yeah, uh, so it's, it's not not so different from uh, any other life, except you do your work in chunks. We do our work from eight to five or exactly. something, 
Yeah, yeah exactly. Because I, I, I talk to other musicians uh, a lot, especially other moms in music. And we all feel the same way. You know, it's like you said, exactly like uh, some people are, are gone all day during the day working hard. And we're most of the time we're working all night <laughs> and then we're home in the, in the morning, you know, like Mondays are our weekends. And, uh, and I enjoy that very much too, you know, sitting with the coffee, being, you know, having a quiet time. So the that's best time. That, <laughs> the best time, the best time and, and watching the news and whatever. And then, and then, so it's exactly the same as any other mom working in the office or doing any other job. Yes, I understand that. So what's it like living with a teenager? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not that bad. I, uh, because, you know, everybody kind of warns you for uh, the adolescent uh, uh, age. But, um, you know, Finn is a, he, he's a, a very sweet boy. And, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's searching for his identity. He's, he's living his life. He's in school. He has his friends. And it's, it's working out well, you know. Um, I, I think he has the same issues as every other kid of 17. And we deal with it as a family, and that's going very well. I think Rob and I are, we're very different kind of persons. We are very different in character, and I think we make a good team uh, in catching and, and carrying the issues of, of a 70-year-old. And uh, so, so far, so good. We so, say to each other sometimes, like, so far, so good. You know, we raised a very, very intelligent, you know, sweet boy, and um, he... He, he's able to make his life choices as he pleases and we're just trying to nudge him in the right direction but you know he does his own so yeah well, so far so good so far so happy <laughs> <laughs> um so back to your music career what usually inspires you to make music do you have um always the same things or is it um based on how are you feeling at the moment yeah it is, uh, it's, a, it's always a moment in time. Um, so I'm a very a positive person by nature. And uh, I, I like writing about, you know, the sun shining and nature and, and love and all the good things. Um, but sometimes, you know, uh, the darkness can catch you by surprise as well. I mean, there's so many things are going on in, the, in this world always but at the moment for sure in Europe for sure in our country there's some obstacles you know political obstacles and um, but for sure in other countries and you see everything that's going on in the world um, and that um, that mm, that sorrows me a lot so I find myself writing about these things without being political as much but more in you know at the point of view of the people who are living in in your you know troubled times and heavy times and it just goes straight to my heart and um so i write a lot about that recently as well yes we cannot stay out of touch with the, our surroundings i no. i understand no yes. no we have to we have to look at it we have to you know think about how we you know we uh, we can help each other out and but sometimes that seems just sometimes that's just so overwhelming you, you don't know where to start you know you want to save the world you can't so you have to do a tiny little bit and you hope everybody does a tiny little bit so we can you know make it through dark times uh, sometimes it, it worries me so much you know yes it can be overwhelming Indeed, so, so I'm not going to take your time anymore. Do you have a message for your fans in Serbia? We'll see you in November. Oh, yes, I do. I do. I, it's been so long ago since I've been in your country, Serbia. I don't even know when exactly. So it's, it's about time that I come back. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, um, I, I, I'm really looking forward to this tour. It, for me, it starts uh, next week. 
So I'll be hopping on and off uh, on this uh, solo acoustic tour, and I can't wait to to get to Serbia to to play music, and uh, I hope to see everybody soon. We'll be so happy to meet you there. Yes, we'll be see you there. Yes. <laughs> awesome. That's great. <laughs> okay, thank you for your time. I'm gonna stop recording now. All right. Bye. Bye.